So they really like cryptography, and a lot of them are mathematicians. So they come up with some very elegant mathematical solution or cryptographic solution, um, and they really want to propose that as the answer to the problem rather than something that's not very elegant and not very mathematical, but maybe a lot more practical. So one example of that is um, updating software on devices. So the cryptographer solution would be to use certificates and digital signatures and encryption and a whole bunch of other stuff, which is incredibly complicated. Whereas a much easier um, way of doing it is, for example, uh, with Windows Update, which already does that. It knows it came from Microsoft, so it connects back to Microsoft and it gets its updates from there. iPhones go back to Apple and get their updates from there. They don't need a CA, they don't need certificates, they don't need PKI, um, because it's just superfluous cryptography. Well, one thing is, um, if you look at textbooks, they often give uh, very complicated cryptographic and mathematical solutions to a problem when there's often a much simpler, much more practical solution available. So look for simple, practical solutions that solve the problem, and not necessarily very hard, very complicated mathematical ones that often don't. So one example of, of the way that the problems that security people are trying to solve is the problems that are very ill-defined. So there's no clear solution, there's no obvious way to tell when you've solved the problem or not, there's no obvious right or wrong answer. There's just a, one solution that may be good for this case and one solution that may be good for that case. And that's the same kind of thing that designers of sports cars um, have also run into, that there's, you can't really say this is the perfect sports car. You can say the sports car has some trade-offs that are better and some trade-offs that are worse. Um, and that's something known as a wicked problem, which comes from the field of social planning, and it's applied to things like poverty in inner cities, or slums, or crime, or international conflict, and things like that, where there is no clear solution. There's only a series of trade-offs. 